or the art of the richly textured moment. So just as a bit of a lead into the course content, and I'll start putting the course up on the screen so that we can sort of walk people through the curriculum. Um, and I, I don't know whether this was something that you've developed, um, but by all means, if it is, then all credit to you, because I think it's a fantastic phrase. But just unpack that for us, this idea of the art of the richly textured moment. So Milani, talk that through, and I'll start putting the course up on the screen for everybody to have a look at. Okay. Oh, thank you, Peter. I had this insight one day, um, and th I think it was actually I was looking at a string of pearls, and I realized that our moments are almost like these pearls that are strung together. And so our life becomes just like a string of pearls, one moment after the other. But what that pull is, that moment, is up to us. And so we can choose to have that pull, that moment, be a flat, one-dimensional thing. Or it could be a richly textured um, moment. And we can go into that moment and not just skip across the top of our moments, just in this quest to get to the next one and to the next one. You know, we're always almost skipping over our moments because we believe that there's something better for us in the future and not really exploring the depth and the um, textures and the beauty that's available for us in any moment that is that is right there. And so you can only explore that in the now moment because that is the only moment that's available to you. And um, the art of the richly textured moment is all about Explore and adding more textures to your moments so you don't just um, experience life and what is happening in this flat one dimensional way where it's almost just like a stick figure drawing of a horse, but you have this beautiful experience of the horse, which is you can smell the the hay and you can the nature you can feel the power that's emanating from the horse you know you can um, see the hair and you can um, you, know, you know you you're using all of your senses and you're actually um, engaging with all of your senses into the moment and so a few years back I actually walked um, part of the Cape Camino here in Cape Town and the experience of that was very much in terms of what I mean by what a richly textured moment is. Because you're walking, so you're slowing down and you're experiencing, for instance, Chapman's Peak Pass or, you know, one of those beautiful places in Cape Town. But you're experiencing it in a different mm -hmm. way because you're walking, so you're slowing down. So the um, sea breeze has time to impact you and you can see the gulls and you can see the mountains better and you can look at rocks and feel the texture of leaves etc so as you're walking you have this rich experience of a particular beautiful place in Cape Town whereas normally we drive on that road that bendy road and you might see oh that's beautiful or there's the ocean there's mountains but your experience of that is very much different. And I think we li we're living a lot of our life almost in the car, on the highway, and whizzing by our moments. And we're not stopping and experiencing them fully like we would almost if we actually slowed down and intentionally connected with them a lot more. 